we all are using AI in our daily life and we all face errors sometimes as well and we put in, in AI like ChatGPT and Cloud AI as well but we all face one issue as well which is that they don't have the context of our Kubernetes cluster. Well, I use Cloud AI to debug my Kubernetes cluster in my daily life. And in this video, I'll show you how I used Cloud to have a context of my Kubernetes cluster so it so it knows what actually going on in right now in my Kubernetes cluster. So let's start with a small demo and I'll show you how that actually works. So in this Cloud interface, I asked a simple question to the Cloud. Okay, what's going on in my Kubernetes cluster? And if something broken, let me know. So let's ask and let's see. Okay, after a few seconds, it gave me the proper analysis of my Kubernetes cluster and it detected few errors, which is system level errors. And at the last it is saying, okay, my cluster relatively in a good health and there is no issue right now. In this video, we'll try to broke our cluster as well and we'll see how Claudia is interacting with it. So let's first understand how that actually is working. So behind the scene, I'm using case GPT so that uh, my Claudia is able to interact with my Kubernetes cluster. It's a project which helps you give a KI power to your Kubernetes cluster. Now case GPT has a new feature called MCP support and through that Cloud AI is able to have a context of my Kubernetes cluster. Well, you can go and follow the get started guidelines to install in your system for the case GPT and your Kubernetes cluster. And let's come to the part where how you will connect and start the MCP server. So what you need to do is you need to first uh, have a auth of uh, any backend API. So uh, I'm using right now Olama. So I'm using from Olama dot AI you can download any local version for free otherwise you need to pay and uh, I'm using Olama running locally and you need to just do kids auth add through the documentation and once you give the API token to uh, the case GPT it will be able to use any backend API provider which you think is good for you and your privacy according to you. So it have multiple option which you can connect with. I'm running Ulama right now in my local system. So uh, you can see right now to ensure case GPT is running in your system. You can just use case GPT analysis explain command which it gives this kind of response. That means case GPT is properly running and able to connect with your Kubernetes cluster as well and able to use the AI provider as well. You can follow the steps which is mentioned in this readme. I will share this readme link to the video's description. And in that I have shown like after the case GPT installation, you just need to make sure, okay, it has the configuration directly for your cloud. And uh, you just need to paste these commands which will create a cloud desktop config JSON file with MCP server support. And it has case GPT serve MCP command mentioned. So if you run this command locally in your system and it is working fine, that means case GPT is able to start the MCP server as well. And uh, once it is there, you just need to close your cloud and restart it. Now that's all you need to do to configure MCP support of case GPT with cloud AI. And once you restart your cloud AI desktop, it will be having a context of your Kubernetes cluster. So let's start with simple demo where we have seen already the, it is able to interact with my Kubernetes cluster since I have done all the setup. What I'll do is in this, uh, I have a, so I have a YAML file which have two resources mentioned, which is one, the deployment, which is simple Nginx deployment and the service, which is exposing it. Now, what we'll do is we'll just deploy these resources. So to do so, we will just apply this. Once you apply this, you can see that, okay, deployment is created and service is also created. Well, here's the catch. Both resources is created, but there is an error which we can't see right now. But right now I can ask the Cloud AI if there is any error in my Kubernetes cluster and what are the remediation and the suggestions it can give to me. Well, let's directly jump to the Cloud AI and ask the same question this time again. And once we ask the same question, we can see that there is something broken right now in my Kubernetes cluster. And what it is saying is that the service which I created expect a pod which have the label of Nginx web, but it is missing right now. So if I go to my deployments, you can see that in the deployment, the match level is of Nginx, but 
it expect of nginx web so it is saying me this is a critical error and this is how you can fix it as well you can just apply this command and it will update the service and we it should be work fine so let's do that as well and see if it fix the issue and not so if i go ahead and if i apply this okay service now is best now let's ask the same question again to see if the issue is still there or not okay after i ask the same question it is saying okay excellent news the issue is now fixed there is no error and no problem coming pod status is great services status is great as well well i can do a lot more things with cloud ai right now with my kubernetes cluster but right now by default gates gpt doesn't have permission to apply these remediations directly from cloud ai or gates gpt if you want to do that you can easily do that by enabling the auto remediation in gates gpt you just need to follow this uh, guideline of gates gpt gpt auto remediation and after following this guideline you will be able to directly apply those remediations from cloud ai as well and to ensure about the privacy case gpt or removes the sensitive information before sending it to the backend ai i hope you enjoyed the video and you will be able to learn how you can use cloud ai as well in your daily life for kubernetes debugging and fixing the issues